Um, so I wanted to go through a couple words um, on how to say clothing. This is kind of a random video. I just just been thinking about language and um, yeah, and how I can help you with your language learning and pronunciation. It's very important, and I know that um, there's all these discussions about language revitalization and how we're saying it, and you know um, whether you say potato, potato, tomato, tomato, you know, right with a different accent. Uh, no, I'm not going to get into that. Sorry. Okay, I'm just going to go and just just um, rattle off a bunch of words here. So. Okay, just repeat after me. I'm gonna say it three times. A sonnet. A sonnet. A sonnet. Shirt. A sonnet. Um, zumba. 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 Jeans. Zumba. Doggins, 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 Sock, Dick Doggins, Dick Doggins, Dick Doggins, Socks, Dardigans, 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 Socks. Asalaskum Asalaskum Sweater or sweatshirt. And the reason why is because it's stretchy, it's ass. So um Asalaskum Bra pants like dress pants trousers um, or panty I was raised with it being panty um, and then kachama 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 is a panty also depends on who you're talking to um, everyone has a different way of saying certain things. So, for instance, kasanet and kasanai. Okay. Um, kumzu you. Kumzu you. Kumzu you. Dress. Kumzu you. Um, Togwa boy. Togwa boy. Togwa boy is an undershirt. Togwa boek seeds are e. Togwa boek seeds are e. Togwa boek seeds are e. Um, underwear. It's a long, long word. Um, I've heard two different versions of how you can say. Underwear it could be togwa boy, togwa boy, sidza e, um, undershirt to like lingeries to being um, an underwear. I've heard those three different ways of saying it too. Um, sakste, 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 skirt, sakste. E by you, e by you, e by you means shoes. So it, it's more like um, dress shoes, like e by you, eat a by you, eat a by you, eat a by you, shoes, eat e by you, eat e by you. It e by you shoes. La basus. 
la basus. La basus. It, it literally translates to, because we don't have an R in Kwakwala, so your R, your R um, is pronounced with an L. So it just translates to rubber shoes. <laughs> La basus, which means running shoes, okay? Or running shoe, okay? So li la basus, li la basus, li la basus, running shoes. Just trying to think of other things here. Um, oh, tlataml, tlataml, tlataml. It means hat, but specifically, it's almost like a top hat, you know, like those old hats that the old men used to use, tlataml. And then I just learned cap, 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 for like a, um, baseball hat like like um what's another thing oh um who um who um who is a sweater um who uh, taste qua taste qua taste qua earring earring taste Earrings. Now the most hard word I've ever really learned. Well, one of them. Um, earring. Um, earring. <laughs> Ring. Okay. So, and then um, if you're gonna do like a bracelet, it depends on um, the type of material that it's made of. Um, yeah, we can go on and on and on, but yeah, those are some words that I was raised with um, when my granny was teaching us. I can't remember um, any other words right now because I'm kind of just going with it like at the, top of the, at the top of my head on things that we need. Oh, duh. Okay, sorry. Zagit. 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 Jacket. Of course, that's a borrowed word too, you can hear. So we don't have a letter J. So a lot of our people, um, we, our J's go into a Z, right? So, um, Zagit. Okay. Um, or Da that's a wak. Da that's a wak. Da that's a wak is like an overcoat, um, kind of like a trench coat, like one of those long coats. So I just use da that's a wak for um, my jacket that I'm going to use to go outside. Uh, what's one more? Oh, gwoksam. 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 It's like rubber gear. Okay. Um, Gumboots. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> but anyway, have fun while you're learning. Um, I could go on and on about different topics and about how I hear them versus how another person hears them. It depends on who your speaker is. It depends on how their accent is. When I do editing for First Voices, I actually go with what the speaker is saying, not what I know. Okay, so those are some things where I'll just leave a little note like, um, is it like this or is it like this? Because if you're comparing it to like old dictionary words, then obviously it's going to be different to 2024 words. You know what I mean? So some things have morphed or changed in language learning, right? Like I said, potato, potato. So, bela kasta ukhla, lakhwala nukunkus, halakasta ukhla.